part seven on the Jarkai or dual wield saber. Uh, this time around I wanted to get into, for the first time, alternating blades. Everything that we've done before has had both blades moving at the same time in the same direction. Even if they're on opposite sides of the body, both blades, there you go, parallel, same time, same direction. All right, this time around I wanted to deal with alternating. Now, when, you, uh, when you're dealing with blades on the opposite sides of the body, or on both sides of the body, alternating, the difference between alternating and parallel is very slight. Okay, so we've got parallel. Hold this up for a little bit. And we've got alternating. Almost threw an extra move in there. Okay. All right, now we'll get to that a little bit later down the road, but on the single side of the body, parallel, slight adjustment, alternating. Okay, now this is also called following blades. One blade is following the other. This one begins its descent. When it gets about halfway, this one begins its descent. Following blades. All right, now, with the others, we started with a single spin like that, and I've introduced you to this before, so hopefully you've been practicing this. Um, but we started with that, and then we worked our way into a crossover. Okay, a crossover with uh, following blades looks like this. Okay, this one's going to hit down here, and then this one's going to hit down here. Over here, over here. Alright, so basically we're doing a figure eight with both hands. And I'll put my right hand on top this time. You remember in the uh, other ones when I was talking about the parallel? One hand's got to be on top. Otherwise, the blades hit each other. Same thing here. So I'm going to have my right hand on top. And uh, so hit. And let me slow this down for you. Hit, 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 hit. OK, and then we speed it up a little bit. And this is a simple flower. Okay, it's called a flower. It's uh, alternating blades, alternating figure eight, however you want to phrase it. Flower is a metaphor that's used for it quite a bit. Uh, I think because of the, uh, the spins with the tight rotation in the middle has sort of the appearance of petals. But this is our basic downward flower. And if I were to stop this, I've just got the alternating blades. Okay, stop the crossover. Okay, now that takes some coordination to get used to. Um, start it real slow. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, this is in a lot of ways very similar to uh, some of the moves that they do in a screamer, if you think about it in terms of hits and you stilt it a little bit. But with spinning, we're going to keep everything fluid, constantly moving. We're not actually hitting anything. So we just keep on going through. I shifted my left hand to the top this time. Doesn't really matter. All right, now if we can do that in a downward wheel, we can do it in an upward wheel as well. Okay, so we're going to hit, 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 hit. Upward wheel is a little bit harder to get a handle on, the timing. Alright, but anyhow, you can do it in an upward and a downward wheel. That's a simple flower. Uh, there is a more advanced version of that. I'll show that to you next time. I'm also going to link you guys on this video in the, uh, in the description to a video from Venturous on this same move. Uh, he has a pretty good tutorial on the same thing and on the move that follows, so I'll link that in the, uh, in the text. Uh, but that's all for this time. Until next time, I'll see you on the forums.